Hurry, get up, I'll make you something with your feet alright I know you really wish you that you do, but you don't So I'm the party, let's romance all night You lie me up, when I'm in trouble I'm only looking at you I'm high enough, I'm seeing double Cause I've been drinking for two I'm a sore fingers again with you with hopefully another interesting lesson for you. This is a song from a band called Camp, C-A-A-M-P. I've done quite a few of their songs in the past and I've had a lot of requests for this song in the last, over the last year or so and I finally got round to doing it. Okay, uh, Quite an interesting song to play. Um, uh, obviously this is my arrangement for a single acoustic guitar. On the original there's uh, a banjo plucking away merrily and another guitar I think as well. So um, this is a single guitar version, okay, simplified slightly. So I'm in standard tuning uh, and I have a capo on the second fret and this puts us into the same key that Camp recorded this song and I think they just still play in this key. Uh, key's F sharp um, but with a capo on the uh, second fret so the F sharp chord becomes a, an E shape okay so uh, that's what we need to do so um, without much to do uh, I'll be back with you in a second I'm just gonna have a quick cup of tea and uh, we're about to show you how I did it welcome back then to uh, my lesson on Huckleberry Love from uh, camp so let's start off with the easy bits the chords <laughs> there's only three chords in this song and they're all fairly straightforward you've got an E major an A major and the third one is uh, one you may have not played before uh, is an A major 7 okay so what I'm doing there is I'm playing the first fret of the third string with my first finger the second fret on the fourth string from the second fret from the capo fourth string second finger and my third finger is playing the second fret from the capo on the uh, second string, the B string. Okay, and it's five downwards. Pretty chord, A major seven. Uh, you could also play a, ma a major seventh like this, which is a bar 
on the top four strings, second fret from the capo with the first bar it with the first finger, four, top four strings, and then add your third finger or pinky to the fourth fret from the capo on the top E string. Five downwards again, that's another A major seven. It's exactly the same chord, different uh, inversion. <laughs> You may prefer that when, when you start singing it, you might think that that suits the voice better. So try it, whichever, when we get to the, the, um, the chorusy bit, that might suit you better, or well, it's actually the outro, I think. Different sort of sounding, but it's the same chord, okay? Right, so the main thing in this song that you've got to try and conquer is the, um, the riff, which is all the way through the song. Okay, so the riff we've got to play is this. Okay, so here we go. So the way I start it is with a, an E chord, fretted an E chord there, and I'm just downstroking on the top bassy strings, the thicker strings. Okay. Just a quick stab, but you could just play the bottom E string open if you want. That would do, okay. But the bottom E string is the important one. Then we go to the second fret from the capo on the bottom E string. I use my first finger for that, and you hit that note on its own. And then immediately afterwards, you hit it again and hammer up to the fourth fret on the bottom E string. So now you've got. We go to the second fret of the uh, fifth string, the A string, followed by the fourth fret on the fifth string. So we go. And then we go to the second on the fourth. Okay, so. Very slowly. There's a very small pause, minute pause, and then you play the fourth fret on the D string, Sing, just over a single note on its own. So now you've got. Again, another very small pause, and then you hit that note again, the fourth fret of the D string, the uh, yeah, fourth string there. Hit the note again, slide it up to the 6th fret on the 4th string and back to the 4th fret. Alright, got that, so now we've got this. Very slowly. And then we go to the 2nd on the 4th. Let's try that bit. Got that, so it's that. Second on the fourth. And finally, we run back down to the E chord by playing the open A string, fifth string, the fourth fret of the bottom E string, the second fret of the bottom E string, and then the bottom E string open. And that's the first note of the next riff, that bottom E string open. So then you just repeat the whole thing. So very slowly, I'll just do a couple to show you how they go together. two together okay so now on the intro you play four of those together all right and then we go into the verse and the verse is basically all one chord it's all an E major very simple chord for the verse okay so it's a don't think of water if you can't see food it up but if you're sick it'll be all right I know you really wish you had to been but you don't come and it'll be feel all right it's all an E chord, that's all it is, all the way through, 
okay and the, the rhythm is like a something like da 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 so sort of thing yeah so I'll do two I'll do two uh, instead of four I'll keep it uh, simple and you just do two of the riffs going into the first verse okay so it's sort of rhythm to that is it uh, da da to upstroke at the end oh, sorry that sort of thing but you just have to do whatever feels good to you yeah uh, I mean I don't probably never play the same way twice actually to be honest um, so that's your verse okay and then immediately after that you go into like the second part of the what I call the verse it could be called the chorus um, and it's all E again it says all stays on E okay so right from the first verse don't drink the water if you can't see if you red get up I'll give you something make you feel alright I know you're really wishing what you do but you don't I'm only looking at you Am I enough? I'm seeing double Cause I've been drinking for two And then you play two more riffs Right after you do the other two And then you're into another verse And another what they call chorus exactly the same as what you've done already but with some different words on the uh, I think most of them are the same to be honest another don't drink the water if you can't be through get up I'll give you something maybe you right I know you really wish you what you do but you don't so come on darling let's romance all night you line me up when I'm in trouble Looking at you, am I enough? I've seen the world, yes, I've been drinking for two. Right now, this time we don't play the riff, we go into what I would call the chorus myself. Right, so we go, sir, because I've been drinking for two. We're getting older. It's all on E and A, okay? So it's we're getting older is A. Older and 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 back into some more riffs, okay? Two more riffs. And then we go into the the out we basically go into the outro and that's the A again. Oh I come home. And I, this is where the A major seventh comes in, it goes A. I, Coming home, I'm coming home, and I know A major seventh, no, that you're gone to risk. Gone. 
and then we're back to the A again. And on the A major seventh. That's your gun with more riffs. Another bit of chorus. And so on, you get the idea, yeah. So every time you finish something, basically you play a couple of riffs. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, so there we have it. That's all there is in the song, my friends, okay? So uh, just mix and match and do your own thing on it. So, okay, so that's uh, on that, so what I would call the chorus, or it's actually the outro. A, A, coming home. A major seventh, either this one or this one, whichever you like the sound of best. So it could be I'm coming home and I know that you'll go. Oh, I'm coming home, got the other one now. Anyway, so you get the idea, boys and girls. Okay, drives you mad this. Um, so there you have it. Hopefully you uh, suss that out now, and uh, hopefully have some fun with that one. Okay, thanks very much for watching, listening. See you in the next lesson. Bye for now.